Since the rise of the internet, cyberbullying has become the new wave of bullying amongst elementary and high school students. There is no escape at home as cyberbullying can affect someone day or night. The Youth Behavior Surveillance Survey finds that 15% of high school students were electronically bullied last year, and the National Youth Violence Prevention Resource Center reports 4,400 young people commit suicide every year, 14% of high schoolers contemplate suicide, and 7% of high schoolers have attempted it. We wanted to get a grasp on the current situation in our high school, so we went to our school guidance counselors for more answers. Some people think that cyberbullying is not a huge issue at the time. From your experience, is it still? From my experience, I think it's still a huge issue. It expands more than just teenagers and even kids younger than that. I still see it happening with adults. I mean, you can look at this election cycle and you can totally see all the comments coming from both sides of the <clears throat> political spectrum and it's pretty problematic. What is the best way to combat cyberbullying? I think it's all about education. I think it's about teaching kids at a young age about bullying and harassment. It doesn't necessarily have to cover the cyber portion, you know, being online and or, you know, using certain apps. I think it comes down to just teaching young students empathy. What are some of the worst effects that can arise from cyberbullying? The, the main ones, the big ones, you hear about stories of people hurting themselves to the extreme of, you know, suicide. Um, sometimes you hear about sort of the sort of homicide, suicide, where the person might go after the person they were harass being harassed by and then hurt themselves. That's really on the far end of things, but it's not as uncommon as we would like it to be. On the sort of smaller side, you see, or I should say, I see students who have problems doing schoolwork or sleeping or eating, or even things like not wanting to come to school is a big problem because they don't want to be harassed by the people that are doing it online. How many cyberbullying cases have you dealt with in your professional career? I'm working with students of all ages. I've worked from junior kindergarten all the way up through high school and adults. I don't really encounter it working with adults because I think adults try to keep it to themselves or they think they can handle it, but definitely with, with students of all ages. It's, it's definitely a problem and it's a scarier problem with the younger students because it seems like they're having access to the internet and things like Facebook and Snapchat at a younger and younger age. Clearly, as technology progresses its role in human society, American youth are drastically being affected in many ways. We hope that more is done in the future to address and solve this issue.